it's Crystal with Pineapple Papers. Welcome back to the Crafty Maven getaway. And I am here with a sketch. So the sketch is uh, from Laura Whitaker. And I am using the sketch in addition to the mood board, um, which I posted in the very beginning of this video. So the sketch is fairly simple, um, easy to follow along with, which is really nice. <laughs> and I am pulling from the mood board the color of the mint, not so much the blue blue um, in the top, but more of the mint, and also the colors of the black and white butterfly. In addition to the colors of the butterfly, I have um, used the butterfly to inspire the title for this layout. So I am finally scrapping this picture of my son and you can see on the back of that photo, it has already been matted and ripped up. And I think that it's happened more than once. So I am excited to um, get this photo done because this was a huge thing that he got for his birthday. He's into mountain biking and, um, my husband's best friend made, made it from scratch. Um, and it's to help him with balance. So, um, you'll see that his mountain bike fits in it and then he balances on the back tire and has to keep it in the air. Um, it looks really hard. Um, I'm not getting up there by any means. So I am pulling from the sketch. I know it calls for two photos, um, but I'm just going to use the one. I am going to do the two tags um, that come in my kit. And I am going to pull in the circular elements because I like the way that those look. Um, my background paper is kind of a wonky polka dot. Um, whereas the one in the sketch is an actual polka dot. So, um, sometimes I don't pay much attention to the background. Um, but sometimes I really like, like I love in this sketch, the polka dot with the stripes, like like I would absolutely find a polka dot piece of paper and some stripes and, and do it just like that. So now it's time for my embellishing. So I am going to go through all of my embellishments and I am looking, excuse me, I am looking for that little lemon slice or something. So up in the right hand corner, um, it, it's, like a slice of some sort of fruit, but it's black and white. And I know that the pack came with three of them. So now I'm trying to find where the other two are, which I give up for a little bit. And, um, I will go off screen and dig and do eventually find them. So I am going to add two flare. Now the flare up top, I am going to turn around because right now it looks like it's pointing off the page and I don't like that. Um, and there, I found them. See, they're like sliced, but if you put something in the center of it, it can totally be the wheel spokes for, um, for a bicycle. So that's where my thought process was. Um, I do add a couple of wood veneer pieces. Um, that little tag up there does say thank you, which I thought was appropriate for the, um, fact that it was a gift. And then, um, the bottom two say happy days and I forget but that is from my mind's eye on trend two wood veneer pack, I believe. So, um, I picked those up at Tuesday morning and I love me a good wood veneer. So, 
and I like offsetting these. These are kind of like tags and you could easily um, add twine to them. And I will end up adding some twine to the actual tags as well as the wood veneer tag. So this is going to be my title. It says dream and fly. Um, so the dream is like a navy glittery. Um, the and symbol is just a black and the fly is craft and white. So I'm just going to add the, the twine. Um, and I did consider doing some splatters in black, which would have looked fine up top, but I think that if I had done any down at the bottom, it just would have blended in and maybe kind of looked messy. I'm not sure. So I did decide against that, but that is pretty much going to do it. So if you use this sketch, I would love if you tagged me. Um, I'd love to see your take on it. Definitely head over to the Crafty Maven Getaway Facebook group and um, check out all of the inspiration that everybody has. Um, I did add a little bit of stitching. I ran one in white and then ran out of white thread. So I swapped it out for black. So you can see there, there's three lines of black on the bottom and only one black and one white on top. So remember to wear your crown and we'll see you next time. Bye.